Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 29th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Living in Between. In our scriptures, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 10, where the tax collector records that Jesus said, Look, I'm sending you out as sheep among wolves, so be as shrewd as snakes and as harmless as doves. But beware, for you will be handed over to the courts and will be flogged with whips in the synagogues. You will stand trial before governors and kings because you are my followers. But this will be your opportunity to tell the rulers and other unbelievers about me. When you are arrested, don't worry about how to respond or what to say. God will give you the right words at the right time. For it is not you who will be speaking, it will be the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. I said goodbye this past Sunday to the congregation I've served with for ten years. I have not yet said hello to the new congregation I'm supposed to serve this year. I'm in between. If you're between a rock and a hard place, you're in between. If you're supposed to be as harmless as a dove, but shrewd as a snake, you're in between. If you're arrested for being good and you want to scream, foul, but the one who taught you to wait instead of trying to force the issue says to wait for his words, you're in between. There are times when I hate being in between. Check that. I hate being in between all the time. But here I am, and the chaos of life in the in-between times is upon me. I'm neither where I was nor where I'm headed. I prefer to have things a lot more planned, clearly defined, and scheduled. The good news is, that's just what it is. Planned, clearly directed, and on schedule. The bad news for my obsessive-compulsive disorderly self is the one who holds the day planner is in heaven. I have to remind myself often that God's plans, like His ways and thoughts, are on a much grander level than I can even imagine. And He's got stuff well in control. It's not that I ever doubt that. But my perfectionist, impatient, want-to-control gene compels me to try to control what's going on. And the God who knows exactly what, where, when, who, and most importantly why things are going to play out the way they will, He is my Lord. And it's something I need to remember as in front burner. It is He who instructs, commissions, sends, leads, and in every way protects and uses me not the other way around. For you today, one other thing I have to keep tattooed on the inside of my eyelids, so I'll see it often, is that the Christian life is a journey, and I'm always in that in-between place. I'm not where I was, thank the Lord, but I'm being led to where I need to be. May the God of grace and peace give you that joyful expectation of this holy journey of life in His plan, His way, and His glory, instead of letting you try to own the cesspool of control, organized materialism, and owning exactly nothing. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.